And the method of muraqaba is this, that the attention of the heart totally is turned towards Allah. And if you consider and understand that this is a practice, moving away from all other focus and attention, with complete devotion. This is So one, uh, being in seclusion or isolation is such that a person sits in a place where there's silence. It could be the night time or such a place. Then there's a further, you can say, loneliness or isolation where a person remembers Allah in silence. Then that silence increases, intensifies to this point. That in the heart the individual remembers Allah. And this is the real uh, loneliness or seclusion or isolation. And then when it continues and increases, that no other thought should come or embed in the heart except for Allah. Except for Allah. So this feeling and emotion if an individual attains it, it's attained via effort. You have to work hard to attain this. This is said that first and foremost, you need to turn your attention and efforts to a wali Allah, sheikh, so that you can sit in his company and learn muraqaba, learn this education of muraqaba. So but company of the teacher is a fantastic this should be uh, the company of the sheikh and after that there should be hard work. And what is hard work? What is effort? Effort, hard work, you can define such that just as the sheikh prescribes and explains, advises you to do actions and deeds, you implement them in that same way. That equals effort. For example, a sheikh for your cure and improvement says that you, if you do 1,000 tasbih of the name of Allah, then if he just does that 1,000 tasbih for that student, that is his effort and hard work. If he he won't do 10,000, he won't do 100,000, rather 1,000 for that student equals effort and hard work. That's the definition. And he just has to do one action, that student, that the one who's working hard, making effort, what is that? That with steadfastness, regularity, he must do that 1,000. The action, the prescription that the teacher is given, he needs to do that regularly, exactly that way. And that equals effort. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah. And for this, Allah Ta'ala says, وَلَذِينَ جَهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنْهُمْ سُبْلَنَا If you work hard in this way, then Allah Ta'ala promises that the doors of Ma'rifah, Allah says, I will open for you, all of them. Look, the Qur'an has given this uh, promise, isn't it? Those who strive hard in Allah's schools, Allah says that I will certainly guide them. So this is Maraqba, if we want to be pure. Regularity, punctuality, consistency is such a thing that if ever an individual can't arrive, or he delays, or he misses a session, one or two days, or in between he disappears, or the nafs comes in between, and then he returns again after that, starts to come again, then the pious predecessors have said that even this is regularity, punctuality, consider this as consistency. The nafs maybe grabs you, takes you off course, then you come back again, then you come back and sit again, start sitting in the, in the majlis again, then after some time, the nafs grabs you, and then a day or two you disappear, then you come back again. Even this, the pious predecessor is not empty, this also gets included in punctuality, regularity. So look how Allah is so